Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick and today I've got two live trades for you. One is a H1 scalp and the other is a reversal pattern. So you are bound to find some value in this content. In a second, I'm going to head over to charts and show you exactly what I'm talking about. In return for this, all I ask is you hit the like button or hit the subscribe button to continue supporting this channel. Let's head over to charts. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Patrick and today I've got two live trades for you. One as well as about to hit TP. So one's a um, scalp based off the Euro, 10 pip scalp based off my H1 strategy there. Um, as you can see, it's about to hit TP. Um, the other is a reversal pattern um, based off the other setup that I trade, uh, which is the Quasimodo a reversal pattern i'll show you that in a second once this is official so i'll show you how i got into this move and i'll show you how i got into the other one they're both running at the same time this one is a passive trade so i set the pending order and it's doing this thing i actually forgot about it just had a look now and i realized i was in that um because i was keeping an eye on what's going on with my um reversal trade which is a much larger move so i, I needed to manage that a little bit more so um this one quickly, H1, well, not H1, H1 is where I found it. Should I, should I show you how I found it? Yeah, I'll show you how I found it. So, yesterday we had a big, big uh, set, uh, a, a lot of uh, selling. <laughs> how do I phrase this? Uh, we had aggressive selling and pushed it all the way down, taking out all these lows. We know there are some very strong sellers in this zone, right? This also happens to be a reversal pattern in itself. So left shoulder here, ahead, we have a breaking structure here. It pulls back up to the left shoulder. So this is the right shoulder and it pushed down. So that's the move completed, to be honest. It may have more room. I don't know. It may just push up from here. I don't know. But that's the move completed. And that was a, let's see if I'm here to here. That was about 80 pip move. Or if you hold it, held it. It's about 95 pip move. If I was holding this, I would get out around here because this is demand and this could reverse and that's what it's doing. So um, that's that's that move. So how I found this scalp, it was based off this. When this came down, it left a lot of um, imbalance. It, it left off a lot of, it created an imbalance. It left a lot of remaining orders in my opinion. Yeah, so my entry was there was there just above this candle here and I'm looking for a quick TP quick 10 pip move to take it down there it could go a lot further with all this price action here all these demands being consumed I would assume it goes down further here and it could come all the way down there but I'm not really interested in that because I'm in another move and this is just meant to be a quick 10 pip move so I'm gonna let that play out maybe by the end of this video it reaches TP it should take about 10-15 minutes, but I'm not going to sit here for 10-15 minutes. So um, that's that move and we'll see how that goes. Now, the reversal pattern was caught on the J JPY um, uh, UJ, yeah? So this one's a little bit more technical, but again, it's very easy to read. So if you go on daily, you see prices have been trending down this uh, so far. So last year it was, you know, very aggressive bullish run and now it's um, retracing, it's just trending down. So I was looking at this move actually to take it from this low up to this zone here. And the reason is if you look to the left, well, if you look to the left here, we've got a demand. So price was in a demand here. And I was looking to take that move from about, what did I just do? No grid, no, I don't want that grid. There you go. Don't want that. Um, I need my charts naked so I can see what's going on. So um, where was that? So I was looking to take it from here, down here, and take it up into this imbalance candle somewhere. Uh, my first exit would have been around here, so that would have been about 300 points. Or my second exit would have been here, about 360. So that's what I was looking to do. Take it from here up and then take it from here back down. Hopefully it continues its a downtrend. So in here, this zone here, there should be a reversal pattern. And there was. 
and I was looking for it multiple times. About three chances trying to find that, I just kept getting stopped out, so I left that move. But when price pushed up this morning very aggressively off um, some news, I think it was uh, interest rate decisions, it pushed up about, what was it, about 350 points, and it went straight to this zone. I was looking to scout, uh, I was looking for a reversal to take this back down because um, I think the move was a bit over exaggerated and also we are looking at a very strong um, supply here yeah so where were where was my possible entries for this move it was either here actually not there it was either here at this low here as I believe this would have uh, created uh, um, left some remaining orders here and there's some resistance as you see price was bouncing off there so it could have turned around here or it could have turned around right there. That's my entry. It could have turned around at this mark here. So I just wait, can you stop messing around? <laughs> so it would have turned around here. Because again, some resistance here. So that's the two places I marked out as my possible uh, entry for a reversal. So if we go down to a lower time frame now, on M5 now, I actually found this on M one so my entry was really really early um on m5 so what we have here is a cosy modo pattern so this is our key area that i marked out initially that's the first one price stored there but it beat it so let's get rid of that it didn't give us a reversal pattern there it kept them going it came up here and it slowed down so that's the first indication that it could be looking to turn around. It's in supply, a big supply, where it's trending, it's in a big supply. Price is pushed up aggressively unnecessarily because the um, fundamentals, the news catalyst wasn't work, uh, justified to go up this much, in my opinion. Uh, it got up here and it slowed down. So what we're looking for is a left shoulder, which is potentially this. We're looking for a fake breakout and we're looking for price to come back down and beat that last um, demand zone. And as you can see, it smashed straight through it. Yeah, Went into this next demand and pulled up and that then becomes our right shoulder, as you can see. So if our left shoulder is here, we wanna buy it when it gets back there, that's our right shoulder and the entry should have been there and we would be sitting in a 160 point move so far. Yeah, so that's what um, is going on. That's how I find that move. Um, it's sitting at 160. I found the entry on M1. I'll show you that quickly. Um, let's just zoom out. And just here, if I could get there without losing my position. Okay. So I found my entry on M1 and it was based on this here. So price has started creating a low here, a lower high, lower low. So it indicated that it wanted to go down. It beat this little, um, what was it? This little demand here and it held its shape. So my first entry was around this point um, at 30, I think it was, 130, something like that. Um, my first entry was there, but as I entered, this typically happens to me, price pushes up aggressively. So I got a little bit worried because I had said I don't want it to beat this high here, and it just beat that high, so I got out um, very early, and I waited to see what was going on. Um, I thought, okay, price was going up, so I bought here, I shouldn't have bought there. Realising that, I got out, so I made a bit of a mess with this, you know, I'm not perfect, so I do still make a lot of mistakes with this. I needed to be a bit more patient. So when price pushed back down here, I thought, okay, this is the move. Definitely the move I've been looking for. I just need to take the trade. So I placed the order and I held it. I waited and it started moving my direction. Then I thought, okay, good. But I didn't like the size I had on it. So I did take off some size and I got down to a size I liked and I made it a risk-free trade. And I was able then to look at moving my stop loss. So that's how I found that um, entry on the M5, on M1, sorry. And I'm looking to take it down to this demand here. So 
Wait, let me just move my stop loss quickly because this is a live trade and I don't want to end up losing this trade. Where's my stop loss gone? So, um, my stop loss, where have you disappeared to? Click on, I should be in profit. I don't know, shouldn't be up there. I break even now, yeah? That's where I need to be. I could do more than break even, but that's where I need to be, right? Um, because I'm in the move. This should have come back. If it does come back for any reason, it's coming to take me out, and I don't want that. So I'm at break even now, and I'm a um about where we 170 points in, and I'm looking to take it down to this demand where it started, because if I find resistance, it's going to be here. Yeah. So I'm going to take my take some more partials here, but my ultimate TP is just below these lows, because. On the daily, as you saw, we are trending, and if it does continue to trend, it's to beat these lows here. So we are looking at a potential hundred and no, that's four hundred and eight pips. But I'm going to take some more size off at two hundred and fourteen pips, and we are currently sitting at for my entry. We are currently sitting at. 170 pips or so so that's how i found the move that's where i'm looking to take it um i could take a scalp from here again it created the imbalance um there is remaining orders here it will fill these orders and it will react when it gets there so i'm looking to take a scalp here I could take it for a quick 10 pips uh pips so i place a second order 10 pips and then um leave this trade to continue to run in to see if it wants to beat this or not I'll just manage my risk from there, just bring it down my stop loss and taking partials as I see fit. So that's the two moves uh, I got today. Those are the two trades I am focusing on. And I'm going to switch over to Euro right now to see if that trade on the H1, my H1 scalp has played out. And we wrap up this video. So let's go over to there. Um, it's still not at TP. That's a shame. But, you know, it's very close to it. As you can see, it's probably get it in this candle. We've got about three minutes left of this candle. Maybe it gets it there. Maybe it pushes up. I don't know. Um, hopefully, it should get it in this candle. But we'll see. So, that's about it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've given you two videos. Uh, two videos. Two live trades uh, based on my strategy. Yep, TP is coming and uh, two two live trades based on my strategy um last two videos i've posted was about the h1 scalping and the quasi mode of reversal patterns and i've showed you two live examples of it working and uh, it, as you can see i'm doing both at the same time so it's quite passive I'm, i don't really need to manage nothing now um i'm gonna leave this finish this video go about my day and i'm making passive income from scalping or from trading well scalping yes reversal pattern that's not passive that's a little bit more work that's uh, i'm gonna keep talking until it hits tp to show you this in full um so i hope you've appreciated that you know so and you know what to do if you did hit that like button support the channel um i'm growing slowly i do appreciate all the support i've got hit that like button keep the support coming in and um hit the subscribe button to see how i progress um i think i'm gonna wrap it up it was about one pip one pip less than a pip away from tp i'm pretty sure it's gonna hit tp but i'm not gonna drag out this video any longer because i do need to get on with my day so should i wrap it up there or should i continue a little bit more i'll show you something quickly um no nah, nah, do i show you that Okay, so I'll show you some of my other uh, demand zones I'm looking at. So we are in supply now, price is pushing down. We had a demand here and it pushed up from there. So our next demand is down here. So that's where I'm going to be interested in buying again. So when price gets down to this area here, if it slows down, gives me some indications it's buying from this price point here, I'm going to look to take that up. As you can see down here, I've got a pending order. This is based off an imbalance, so I'm happy to put a pending order and leave that alone. And it hits when it hits, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, whether it's a month or two, I don't mind. It hits when it hits. Um, it's passive income to me, and that's the way I'm approaching this now. So I'm, I'm taking less trades, 
looking at quality trades and that's it this thing still hasn't hit tp i'm not going to continue on i'm just gonna you're just gonna have to assume it hits tp because i'm not gonna make this video any longer waiting for a tp but i'll show you it came worry about the, the, the less than a pip away from tp so i'm pretty sure it will get into there i'm very confident it will get into there um but i'm not going to stick around for there stick around for that let's just look at jpy jpy is uh uj sorry is still going strong um i'm gonna wrap up this video <laughs> so i hope you appreciated this i hope i hope you did if you did you know what to do i'm gonna sign out now this is patrick signing out and until next time peace